Hi guys, it's Mila from Girl in the Kitchen with Ilan and today we're coming live from my kitchen and we're going to be doing the most um, asked about, sorry, we have our, I have my munchkin here too. Charlie, say hi. Say hi to the lovely people. Mm. <laughs> so sweet. She's not at all. Sh this is what thanks. Oh my so god. Right <laughs> she wants something clearly. Yeah. Okay, so today we're actually going to teach you guys how to make the perfect mashed potatoes, which is the most asked about oh, recipe, funny enough. Such a simple recipe, but so many different things can go wrong. So I am going to help with whatever she needs. And yeah. Alana is going to tell you about we actually have a countdown going today. So we have top 10 things. To keep your mashed potatoes spectacular this year, okay? So, Alon's gonna start with the first two because those are his personal favorite, and I'm gonna take care of this one so she can let us do whatever we gotta do. Take it away, Alon. Okay, so we're talking potatoes, talking Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I know it's not that day yet, but it's coming up real soon. So, number one, know your potatoes. So, we're gonna talk about rustic. I think that's the number one seller in America. In America, did I not say it correctly? Russet. Russet potatoes. <laughs> so it's got, it's the one with the very brown outside. They're very mealy. And they're best for, I personally think, for baking. Those yeah. are my baking potatoes. Those are my totally. go-to baking potatoes. Yeah. I know Mila loves her Yukon. golden Yukon potato. Best for boiling, best for making mashed potatoes. I think they are waxy. And I love a waxy potato. I love a mealy potato. I make all sorts of kind of different potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. I even love our purple or blue potato. They're a little bit... Peruvian potatoes. Yeah, the Peruvians. Well, they're all Peruvian potatoes, actually. The history of potatoes, they came from the Andes Mountains, you know, and the Inca people um, harvest them. That's mostly where they all come from. That's the history of the potato. They're from the Andes Mountains. And uh, what do you got going on here, Mila? Um, I actually boiled up our potatoes because I didn't want to wait for them to boil. So those are Yukon Golds. Yes. I'm actually making these for my husband's work tomorrow because Alan is so kindly smoking a turkey for his office tomorrow for Barbecue wor Baron. <laughs> wor works giving. Works giving, they call it. Is so it works giving? Okay. so for works giving. So I'm actually going to be using all these mashed potatoes tomorrow, but. Yeah. So, so we got the know your potato, right? So basically it's, it's, Alon's phone is ringing. Uh -oh, so basically me. you have your starchy potato versus your waxy potato. And the Yukon Golds fall somewhere right in between, which is why it makes such a beautiful, beautiful mashed potato. Yes. Um, and then the next thing is Alon is actually very particular about. So it's know your water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? What I mean is that, so you have potatoes, right? And a lot of people say, you know, let's throw uh, a cold potato that you just cut into boiling water. Right. So what's the problem with that, Mila? Uh, it's wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> Anyways, what we're trying to do is explain the fact that know your water means use a cold potato with cold water. First of all, you're going to cook it evenly. And let's be honest, everybody doesn't make the same kind of potatoes. We're just trying to do what works best for us. I have been known to mess up a potato, you know, but through my trials and tribulations, I have gotten to know my potato and knowing my water. I always start with cold water. Always. So it's, it's the same idea as when you boil an egg. You don't boil an egg from hot water. You yeah. boil an egg from cold water yes. because you want both of the pieces of the puzzle to come to temperature at the same mm -hmm. time, right? So, what do we know right now? We know that we're gonna be using Yukon Golds, and by the way, if you guys like um, russets or Idaho potatoes as well, there's a really good combination of so, russets and Yukon. <laughs> Hi, Roma. Uh, russets and Yukon that actually goes really well together for mashers too. So yes. then we also know that we're starting our um, potato in cold water yeah. and not hot water. And then the other really important thing is know your sizes, know right? Your size. So sizes are really important for one very particular reason. If you're gonna dump a gigantic, <sighs> ignore, it's okay. ignore the noise, ignore the noise. My daughter's destroying my house, but it's all good. Um, if you're gonna drop a gigantic potato that hasn't been cut, it's gonna take forever to cook, and yeah. it's gonna cook unevenly, right? 
and, and then most of the time you're probably going to overcook it because you're going to sit there and poke at it with the fork poke at it with the fork everybody's done that how many people have done the poke at the fork thing okay it's like, why not peel it why not cut it into cubes and get that into some cold water right let that come to a boil and what do we have what how long did those potatoes 15 take? minutes 15 and it's minutes. a huge pot so like a five liter pot and it's like halfway full yeah. i think that there's like seven, six pounds of potatoes do you put salt pounds. in your water that was gonna be my next thing. Um, so he read my mind. All right. So remember one very important thing: when you're dealing with a starch, a starch is gonna absorb whatever is in the water, right? So just like if you're salting pasta water and they say it should taste like the sea, you want to do the same thing with your potatoes. So you do salt your pot, your potato water because it's gonna absorb that salt. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about that is because it's already absorbing that salt, you're not gonna be needing to use as much salt later mm -hmm. on. So it's a little bit healthier as well. Then, this is one of my favorite techniques and things to learn about mashed potatoes because most people, especially for the holidays, what do they do? They bust out the KitchenAid, right? The trusty uh, KitchenAid. And they whip their potatoes. No bueno. No bueno. Alon, tell no us what bueno. we use. So, <laughs> again, I've done this the wrong way. This is the right way. Get yourself a ricer. Get yourself a food mill. Get yourself something that will give you fluffy mashed potatoes. Because let's be honest, when you bite into mashed potatoes that have been whipped through a KitchenAid, most of the time they taste like Yuck. bubble gum. They I taste, don't even know what yeah, they taste. Yeah, that's exactly it. It's they like taste gum. gummy. Yeah. Alon, do you want to open that up for us because yeah. we're going to use it today? I actually, my old one I left at a client's house. So Good I. Good job, you one. I know. Um, I left them at a client's house, so I had to buy a new one. <laughs> but just so you guys know, it's literally 20 bucks, 30 bucks on Amazon. That's the investment you can make if you're making mashed potatoes. Yeah. Everybody makes mashed potatoes. And it literally lasted me, my last one lasted me like five years. So it's totally worth the investment. I will link, there, oh, he's going to fix it. I will link the, um, the link below, as well as my favorite recipe for crazy good mashed potatoes, okay? Which is actually what I'm doing when, when's Thanksgiving? The day after tomorrow. And by the way, if you guys haven't seen yet, if you go on girlandthekitchen.com, I posted my 2016 Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner plan. I got you guys covered. It's one gigantic, beautiful turkey with eight side dishes and a dessert. No baked dessert that tastes like it came out of an Italian kitchen. It's the bomb. Um, so go on girlinthekitchen.com. This recipe is also on there. I will link everything down below. Okay, why don't you tell us the differences? So here's which okay, recipe so that I okay. can um. So we got our strainer type here, away. right? Our ricer. Ricer. These are the strainers. So you got the big hole. Not a huge fan. Little hole, really fluffy. What do you use? Little, always little. Always little. The finer the, the better. The finer the better. So. I'll be honest with you. Can you That's what you yeah. so, so, 15 minutes later, and pull great start. Workout. Yeah, 15 minutes. Yeah, exactly. You're dumping potatoes into here, and all you gotta do is close it, and out comes very, very fluffy potatoes. Remember, it's gonna be hot, so don't try to like catch it or anything, use a spatula or something to get it off. Don't start sticking your hands and things. It's not a good idea. You don't want to end up in the hospital trying to do this. So definitely recommend this ricer, best investment. I think Mila has and I have uh, amazing, perfect potatoes mashed every single time, fluffy. So we're gonna go ahead. What are we, what are we doing right now? Are we gonna start warming up? What do you have in here? That's our butter. We awesome. haven't gotten there yet. He's All like right. really ahead of the game today. Right. I'm trying to link you guys, but I'm gonna keep we're talking. To do the, we're doing Facebook Live at a shorter. We're like tasty, we are. We're like totally not... trying to like go fast. Yeah. Um. Let's say hello to everybody. Hello, Alona. Hi, Roma. Hi, Luda. Sorry, I'm just trying to see who else joined us. Roma, that's funny. Huh. In the south, we use fire in our potatoes. Okay, so this brings us to our very next topic, and that is know your butter. Okay, so what does that mean? Um, obviously, it's a mashed potato, so you're going to be putting in uh, butter into your mashed potatoes. Duh. 
unless you're doing a vegan mashed potato, which then you can actually use the vegan butter, which I have done and it was really good. So I can't, I can't really knock it too much. But today we're doing good old fashioned mashed potatoes. And we are gonna be doing a mixture of butter and milk. Some people do butter and cream, some people do butter and half and half, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm doing butter and milk, okay? Whole milk? Whole milk. Only because it's what I had in my house, for, left over from the weekend of cooking. And let's be honest, a cow produces whole milk. A cow produces whole milk, don't buy the other crap. Ser like seriously. I'm gonna I, go I don't on, know any 2% cows. No, I'm gonna go on a little tangent, just a little bit. If you wanna watch your figure and you're worried about the dairy, just cut dairy out and substitute it with nut-based products, okay? Because you're eating a lot more crap when you're eating that stuff that's yeah. been cut 50% of the way, okay? Yeah. Okay, uh, remind me later cream cheese. Oh, that's your thing. Yeah. Well, remind me, because when I do the cream okay. cheese, remind, I'll remind me. remind you. Okay, um, so we're gonna be doing butter and milk, and that's gonna be going in Always hot. Oh, okay. Hot. So yeah, biggest mistake I made as a cook, and I was taught this, you know, I was almost lost my job because I put cold butter on warm potatoes. Does those things make sense? No. Cold and hot? No. Hot butter on hot potatoes. The other thing is if you put cold on hot, you're going to get lumps. Even if you... It just doesn't work. And you're also going to cool down your potatoes. So if you're literally making your potatoes right before you're serving them, it doesn't, you're going to cool down the temperature. So don't do it. So I put it in a little pot. I put um, butter, milk, and then the next thing, which is number seven. Know your add in. So no, or yeah, know your add in. Oh, no, you know what I forgot to talk about? What? Before you go to number seven. Number six is very important. So. If you're trying to do an infusion. Oh, right. With, yeah. Yes. I was going to go. So, yep. Oh, you did. I. OK, so you're all good. when you're talking about butter and you're talking about milk, you could add things like fresh herb, garlic flavors, mm -hmm. onion flavors into your milk. Yep. It'll warm up. It'll, yep. it, it'll uh, what's it called? It'll infuse it. it. Infuse it. Yep. So the uh, whatever you're adding will start to warm up. It'll, it'll just become more delicious. I recommend garlic. I'm a, I'm a big garlic guy. So, so am I. Yeah, so. I actually, so. And I'm, it, not, I, and I'm indifferent about the powder or fresh garlic, to be honest with you. I'm I'm not indifferent. I prefer, but I prefer real garlic and that's what's in there. But if you're in a bind, what ends up happening is if you put the dehydrated, dehydrated butter in there, or sorry, what am I saying? Dehydrated um, garlic in there, it will, rehydrate itself and infuse it again and make it all tasty and delicious yeah. okay so in there i have butter milk and gar and minced garlic on my microplane i think everybody that watches my shows and reads my blog knows so much i love my microplane the best like nine dollars investment for your mm. kitchen okay did you add salt to your butter or butter i did it and... because i added salt to so my potatoes Got so it. you you want to be careful, and then that I think that's actually a really good point you brought mm -hmm. up. Always use unsalted butter, no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. I've never bought salted butter in my entire life. Have you ever bought? I've had butter? a recipe that called for it, and yeah. I actually experimented with it. Um, it's, it takes it's, the control out of your hands, right? To be very honest with you, I had no i I had to keep tasting. It was like a, I, yeah. I, I had the spoon going in there. Right. I probably contaminated a hundred times with me yeah. tasting it. It's like <laughs> using a turkey that's been augmented. I have a yeah. whole tan. Enhanced. Enhanced. Get a basically fresh turkey. Means it's get got a fresh turkey. Yeah, get a fresh turkey, by the way, guys. Like tonight or tomorrow, just get the fresh turkey and brine it on your own. Trader Joe's is actually the only brine turkey I buy. Trader Joe's or Whole Foods yeah. are the only two stores that I would ever buy already brine turkeys in. Yeah. But everything else, I was making brine turkeys for years. Mm -hmm. And I love them, but everybody was like, I think you need to take it down on the salt because it's too salty. Guess what? It wasn't too salty. It was because it was augmented, and I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Well, then I learned, and now it's always perfect. So don't buy the already augmented yeah, one. So, the butter yeah, ball is the... Phosphate, all that stuff that they put in there. And then they trace. You, you just don't know the portion that they're putting in there, so how could you ever figure out how much more salt you're supposed to right, add to it? Right, exactly. So don't, <laughs> and you can't taste raw turkey, so just, just leave it alone. All right. Um, so the other thing is know your options, options for making a vegan or uh, less fat. So there's vegan butter, there's soy milk, there's coconut milk, there's coconut creamer. Mm -hmm. I have used coconut milk. Um, I personally like it with the sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes and coconut milk, oh, delish. So good. It's a little weird for me in regular potatoes, but it is what it is. Um, 
Can you use it, almond milk or is that You already? can, but make sure it's the regular almond milk. Can I sweeten? accidentally bought vanilla sweet one. <laughs> this okay. is disgusting. Okay. Um, so yes, you can. But to be honest with you, for me, the only thing that actually uh, imitates real milk texture is going to be your soy milk. So use soy milk. If you're against it, use almond milk. That's what I would say. And then there's a bunch of products out there. Like there's hemp milk and there's Whipple, which Just is a new product. Just go to your Whole Foods. Any Whole go Foods and Whole you Foods. can spend if an you're hour vegan, If you're trying milk. to cut the dairy out, go on Whole Foods. Yeah. Okay? Also, there's like some really great new vegan cheeses that are creamy that you can flavor it. But let me say hello to people. Hello, Natasha. Hello, Jania. And hello, Gaia. Okay, we've said hello to everybody. Okay. I uh, know how to make a head. How do you, do you ever make your potatoes ahead of time? We're not gonna talk about me about this one. Right, he's very. You're gonna stick. You're gonna that. stick to this one. All this right. is not my topic because if you're ordering from me, I. I We're not if, talking about right. ordering. We're all talking right, about fine, you're fine. having Thanksgiving dinner fine. at your house. Do you make ahead of your potatoes ever? I just can't. I can't do it. Okay, but it, can you make oh, them? I will travel. I will. Time? Yes, I will so travel. So how do you potatoes. warm them up when you get your? To, to be your honest house, with you, or to your family's house. To be honest with you, yeah. A little bit of butter goes a long way. Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> what warm I warm butter? Yeah, not the cold stuff. No warm butter. That's actually it's it's it, it's. Like Elon really mentions this it. for a reason. Yeah. This is a restaurant trick. Restaurants aren't making fresh potatoes for you guys. What they do is. The good ones, at least. They're keeping it for you in a Bay Marie. A Bay Marie is a steam yes. table, right? So, I keep my potatoes warm one of two ways. The first way is, I, if I, I get a big pot, and I fill it with water, and I let it come to a boil, and then I turn it all the way down so that it steams. And then I take a big bowl, which is... Um, like a, a stainless steel bowl because yeah. it was going to fit on the Yeah, left. and it'll fit right on top. And then I cover my mashed potatoes yes. with foil or plastic wrap or even yeah. a towel. And it's going to stay beautiful and warm. And at the very end, sometimes you'll have like, you know, the, the condensation will fall on your potatoes. Whip it up, add a little bit more warm butter, and it'll be like you just made Agreed. that. It's a restaurant tr trick. Yeah. The other thing you can do is you can certainly keep them warm in a crock pot. But I think it takes a little bit more babysitting, whereas that, nothing can burn. Because yeah. you have indirect heat, so nothing can burn them, okay? So that's a really great way to make your potatoes ahead of time. Yeah. I always, like, tomorrow. Th Thanksgiving is Thursday, yeah. so I'm making my potatoes tomorrow. I mm -hmm. do this every single year without fail, and nobody will ever know. As long as you whip them again at the end, you're perfect, okay? Right. So, number 10 is one of the best things. I always make buttloads of mashed potatoes because I love them, my husband loves them, my munchkin loves them, I love them, I love them, I yeah. love them. I, like I could live on potatoes, it's yep. ridiculous. Alon loves them. It is a I Russian culture. It is. It's totally, potatoes. totally. We're like bread to eat potatoes, <laughs> right? Like when I experimented with veganism and I realized I could eat potatoes for dinner every single day, it was like the best day of my life. So potatoes are good. Like, it's okay if you add a little bit of cream or milk to them once in a while. Nobody's, it's it's all right. We all deserve our cheat days, right? I mean, so, a bacon and potatoes, not so bad. No. No, it's not. But just don't, you know, eat buttered mashed potatoes every single day. Agreed. Um, that being said, so number 10 is know your leftovers. Yes. Oh, my God. Mashed potatoes, so they're, they're not only good, like, the next day to eat, but there's so many things you can do. Like, I make little mashed potato cakes. I have the recipe on my site, yeah. but basically I take like whatever ingredients I had left over from last night or like I'll put some bacon in there, some cheese and some chives and some scallions or some ham and you can make like, and you just bread them in egg and panko and pan fry them like little, what are they called? Hot cakes. They're like little hot cakes, right? Potato like, cakes. Love. Yeah, they're little potato, they're, they're, they're delicious They're, they're croquettes. They're croquettes, basically croquettes, okay? Yeah, exactly. You can put croquettes. ham in there and chicken and turkey. Oh my God. Yeah. Like yeah. I just created your brunch. Thanksgiving hangover breakfast, okay? Actually, some of the best hash browns I've ever had are made out of? Already cooked potato. Yes. Not mashed potato. No. Like the little cube, but, already potato, cooked. but you get it into the... Yes. Very true. Yeah. Very true. You can also do with ca uh, casseroles, regular hash browns. They're a little, they're going to be a little different, but my husband actually used to make potatoes for me like that all the time. So yeah. play around with it. Use it, abuse it, have fun with it. Yeah. Um, that being said, we're gonna make our potatoes. So the one thing I actually did forget to mention, which is very, very crucial, and I will demonstrate it to you guys right now, it's that when you're making mashed potatoes, you wanna get all the water out. So what we do is we have this handy dandy strainer, and this is like my favorite thing in the world. 
because it fits right over my sink. I'll link it in, um, I'll link it above for you guys, okay? And then, Alon, you need yeah. a towel, right? Uh, so Alon's just gonna grab I just don't have any, I don't have any senses in my fingers anymore. Shut up, Let's it's really honest. hot. Let's be honest, I just don't anymore. <laughs> it is pretty hot. Okay, <laughs> Alon's trying to be brave. No, it's, no, it's just really Sorry hot. guys. Dude, now now everybody has throat. a spa facial. All right, so put that right here. Put no. the pot right here. Pot. So I always here's what I always do. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna ah! I'm gonna video. Alon's gonna video me I'm now. Video. Okay, perfect. Down. Yeah, good. Okay, so what I always do is I keep the same pot because the heat's in there. So number one, the residual heat will keep our potatoes really warm, but number two. Um, it's like an easier method to do it in. Oh. <laughs> it's perfect timing. For all you non-Russian speaking, my child just asked me that she wants potatoes. Da mama. Tu quer cartoshku? Okay, dá me pet minuto e eu dialei te dá. You could do it with your kids. Oh <laughs> you guys want to see what my life is like? Yeah. Charlie, me beat. She's literally beating them up right now. That's okay. okay. This is my life every single day. Yeah. Alon's too. Oh, it's your sous chef. Come on. It is my sous chef. Let's take the sharp objects away from my sous yeah. chef. What? All right. Give her the ricer. Let I her will. do the ricer. I will. She's going to. No, no, no. Okay. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Let me throw it. No. Okay. Get rid of this. Charlie loves to put extra ingredients. Um. Okay. So, Charlie, stop, 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 stop. So, yes, just to this deal. No, mamichka, the British. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the potatoes. It's okay. They're hot. Translation. <laughs> okay, now Charlie's gonna help me. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Hello. All right, guys. If you have any questions while we're doing this, please shout them out yeah. for us. Okay. Here, Alon, do you want to uh, close up while we do this so they see it coming out? Uh, tell me when I can lower. There you go. Okay, guys, watch. Hi. So fluffy. It's like the best. So fluffy. Oh, so good. Yeah. It's like great stress relief too. Yeah. Just mama, just just tipo just. Yeah, Alon, that's perfect. Keep it like that. So really, but. Okay. This is like our own version of Tasty right now. Did you guys see this? Every time I kept trying to put it in, she would... Ooh, ooh. Yes. Good job, Charlie. Good job. Here, come come up closer, Alon. There we go. Let me just adjust it. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Okay, Charlie again. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! Ta -da. <laughs> Hey guys, if you want me to do more um, videos with kids, especially my own, let me know. Or with your uh, we're kids. We're accepting applications too. We me. are accepting <laughs> applications. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Do you guys see that? Isn't it perfect? Let's be honest, your kids should not be eating McDonald's. Cook no. them some food from home. <laughs> Charlie loves this. <laughs> look at this, she's like ready. Yeah. Ready, Charlie? Oh, push, 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 push. It's like we're giving birth to tiny little potatoes. Uh, okay, we want to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more, guys, and we're done. But do you see, it doesn't take that much longer. No. And you have this tiny little thing instead of a gigantic KitchenAid to bust out. Like, yeah. oh, we lost one. So what do you think mm. uh, if people oh are using God. the whisk? What do you what What's your feeling on? You the mean whisk? the whisk attachment? No, like a, a whisk, and they're beating. Oh my beating god, that's with. gonna take you forever. When I'm lazy, what I do. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. 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 When I'm lazy, what I do yummy. is. Aww, so munchkin. Oh, so sweet. You are such a ham. Yeah. Seriously, you're made for TV. Honestly. Jesus. One of you two have to make it. <laughs> I will live. The odds you. are good. The odds, the odds are good. The odds are good. <laughs> Babe, do you hear that? We produced a superstar. Yeah. Well, Mariana, good. anytime. Anytime. If you want to do this with your kid, it's funny that you say that because yeah. cause that Alon said that because I am. Actually, I have a ton of different cookie recipes that I want to try out for December for the blog. Oh, let's get the So, guys, involved. let me know if you're interested. We'll book some Facebook Lives for you yeah. guys. I have we'll... a huge island that will at least fit four or five kids around it. See? Done. Done and done. Your kids. 
and let us we'll know. Make cookies. Yeah. Okay. So and that's total and it's dishwasher safe, which is what I love. Yeah, okay. Mama, mama. Elon, do you want to? Oh, that's actually perfect. What you have right yeah. now. Okay. Oh. Now we got more hot stuff coming. Oh my god, this smells, smells so good. Amazing. It smells like butter, it smells milk, and garlic. Okay, mom, go. Hold on, hold on, baby. A little at a time. So that's yeah, that's like the most important thing because you can always no splashing. And then I am putting some cream cheese. One of my viewers there said she always adds cream cheese. That is one of my secrets: either sour cream or cream cheese. Because it adds like this tangy flavor, right? Yeah. Cream like, cheese is not cold. Let's be honest. Room no, temperature, it's room did temperature. Not come that's why it was the fridge. Exactly. That's why it was. Wait, wait. Now. Hold on, Mama. I don't recommend putting cream cheese with your butter. <laughs> Thank you. It will not work right. No, because the whole idea of the cream cheese or a mascarpone or a brie or even a ricotta, the whole reason is because Charlie said no. Is because it's going to give it that a little bit more fluffiness as well as a lot more texture okay yeah. so i'm just gonna give it a little bit more butter and milk not too much remember you can always add you can't take out right mm -hmm. Oops, and see? nobody likes a runny potato nobody likes a runny potato no. exactly okay no 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 do not put water in there charlie charlie sorry guys i only speak russian to my child Okay, that's it, Charlie. Charlie, that's it. Let's be honest. Bilingual kids have the most. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Christmas, Christmas. Yeah. Dominica, anytime. I would love to cook with your boys. Yeah. Mariana, let me know and we'll cook. Okay, the best nice. part, right? Um, yum, yum. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to get another fork for my food. Alright guys, so I like mine like super duper garlicky, which this is. I could smell the garlic from here. Like ridiculously garlic. I can smell it. I do need some more salt. Charlie loves yeah. to put salt in here. Okay, perfect. And I'm gonna well, that was perfect little pinch that she has there. It's like a chef's pinch. She's, yeah. You taught her well. <laughs> I know. She makes eggs every Sunday and Saturday morning with me and Mark, so okay. she's, uh, oh, she's... perfect. Charlie, got the vibe of She's also, we have one thing in common when we were little. When I was little, I could eat cream cheese by the bar, and she could do the same thing. Yeah, I don't Hold have that kind of cookie dough. Oh, you're a cookie dough? Yeah, I've never been a cookie dough. cookie dough. All right, so the other thing, guys, you can put thyme in here, basil, rosemary. I love yeah. adding chives or scallions, yeah. anything. We're keeping it super simple today, but... Okay, Charlie. All right. All right, Alana, I want you to come over here now and taste. Oh. I do want to taste it. Hold on. Let's got this. Okay. In? We're Good. in. We're gold. All right. right here, Alana. I'm going to give you a clean four. Please. Please. Oh, Charlie's just going. Charlie's going. This is only Charlie's mouth. I'm going to take something. Right. <laughs> She's got a clean mouth. Charlie's. Because you've seen yummy? Yummy, yummy. Mmm, so good. Does it need more salt? Charlie, hold on. I'm going to give you a clean. I disagree. No salt. No more, right? Are you not a black pepper fan? I am. I am. I just, I was going to wait okay. until I give her some. Oh, agreed. Just because she's agreed. not that she doesn't need spicy. She's just coughing right now, so I don't want to. Char Look, she's serving herself. Do you guys love this? Okay, guys. Do we have any questions? Um, comments. I'm gonna make sure you guys go on my site, girlandthekitchen.com. I have an entire Thanksgiving prep list for you guys. Yeah. And it's super easy. It's yeah. eight side dishes that'll take you two hours to do. It's it took me. It took me five hours with photography. So because I was photographing every step, it took me a lot longer. But one of my clients tried my menu last week. She was just playing around and it took her two and a half hours. So totally doable. What's up, mama? Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna play, oh my God. See you guys. See you next Facebook Ridiculous. Live. Bye, Plating guys. Up. Plating up. And then I'm gonna show you guys. Don't forget to save some for tomorrow. Because oh, yeah. we can't just serve turkey. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Alright, we're making it we're making yeah. another batch. We're, we're making, making another, another batch. batch. I'm gonna have to ask my husband <laughs> to pick up some more. And then guys, before you serve it, where's my where'd my butter go? I just gotta show you guys this little trick. Okay. Because it makes everything look fancy. Before I serve it, I always put a little tab of like, just a little bit. And then it looks like it's oh you can't see. Hang on guys. Do you see how it looks like it's oh, all? Oh, yeah, I even got a better one. Look at this. Runny. Can I do it like this? Like, oh quickly? yeah, and now he's gonna do the fancy. 
Look at that. See? Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want that? Isn't that luscious? And we didn't even go that long. Yay, us. Wow. Yeah. We, like, didn't go that so long. Next time. Yay. All right, bye, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy we'll see you guys next everybody. time. Take care. Bye.